Hi guys, it's Game Dan Twenty Five. I'm just going to show you how to change your um, your laptop. If you have the same laptop, or if you have another laptop, it might be similar to change your RAM. Um, some laptops have two slots for RAM, and some has one slot of RAM. This laptop, what I'm going to change the, the RAM as one slot. Um, it's not as difficult as some computer people make it sound like and it's not complicated if you know what you're looking for and what um, what type of RAM you want if you want RAM it's gonna be um, for long usage as in like you want it to be for long term use or do you want to have RAM just for now depending on what your, your amount of money what you're willing to spend on RAM um, we can get you a very good RAM or you can get your RAM what's like just for temporary so it can be working most computers nowadays or previous days um, came out with 2 gigs of RAM I'm using 8 gigs of RAM in this um, laptop and yeah hopefully you guys uh, to help you guys though in the video um, on how to change your, your RAM um, I can't exactly see how it looks, so since the camera is a bit shaky, um, bear with me. <laughs> um, okay, let's get to the RAM and yeah. Okay guys, so uh, this is the RAM what uh, I'm going to be using. Um, and those people's not sponsoring me, but yeah, uh, just to let you guys know. Um, this is the RAM that I'm going to be used. Um, uh, it's not some gaming RAM, normally people always go for gaming RAM or so. Um, but yeah, this is just for basic usage for, um, a Lenovo G range. I'm not quite sure what Lenovo is, but it will be in the description. So basically, you should actually look out for this. If you have a, uh, if you have a RAM, well, when you look in your computer, you will have to look for this numbers. Some of it will show um, two six six six, and some will show like one six zero zero, like this one. This is the precise one for this one, for this laptop. Uh, it's not for another. Well, if your laptop does take the, such um, the RAM, then it would be good for your um, your laptop. So, as you can see on the box, there is that. And before you even check on your uh, laptop, always make sure that you can check where um, does your your RAM sit. So and now I shouldn't take this whole thing off, but I normally. What I do is I normally just loosen the battery. Battery out. So I know there's no electricity going through, so basically it's out. So there's no extra electricity going through. And with this type of style of laptop, um, this square, this whole square comes off. You screw that screw there and that screw there it's a um some people say star and some people say oh, i forgot what's the other word for um for a star looking screw as you can see there yeah. so i'll probably put it in the description though so i'm just gonna unscrew that It's very small screws what goes in. Um, it's not bad. And sometimes if you look. Ooh. Okay, you guys go and see. Sometimes you see this like blue stuff on the screw. That is just to. Um, to. Um, 
keep the screw in so as you can see i done that and i just shifted so once i place it back i shift it back up as you can see that line and i just lift up okay so the ram is sitting here um when you remove the ram it will lift up a little bit so you basically pull that silver um and silver dot there and the other one on that side on there and then it will pop up so as you can see just popped up and then just gently take this out And as you can see, okay. as you can see, there's also TDR3166. And as you can see on this one, the new one, TDR3166. So you must make sure that you have DDR3166 or if you have a later computer or so um it will tell you so best place to put that is in a safe place remember this can be still sold or you can um use it for another computer so put it on a safe place and then you take your new one There is instruction manuals to um, show you how to put it in. Um, but I don't need that. So. And always make sure that you ground yourself to something. Um, so that you don't damage any circuit boards or so, or if you can get you a a um, a grounding table. So always make sure before you even take it out, because you don't want to damage the thing. Always make sure that you check your previous RAM with your new RAM. Um, so you match it up and you see if it is the same. Because you have to look for this um, that gap there you have to look if it match up with the same and right now it is matching up so as you can see and be very careful and gentle Here's the new RAM. Let's see. Okay, play with the color. And here we go. Yeah. New RAM. You place it not like that. You place it like that because there's a groove here. If you look closely, there's a groove there. So um, you place it back like how it popped out and then you won't have any problems. Okay. And then you just push it down again. See there's a slight lift to it as you can see. 
So I'm just going to push this down, make sure that it's in. And just like that, the new dam is placed in. What you can do with the old dam, place your old dam into your, your box, your previous box, what it came in. And mm, that's how it looks. Back in. So place your old ram. So your old ram, what you add um, into the container where your your previous ram came in. So. If you do want to use your old RAM again, that's on a safe place where your old RAM used to be. And make sure when you when you use your um, when you're replacing any RAM, doesn't matter if it's your for big computers or small computers, don't touch this cold teeth. I don't know if you guys can see that cold teeth. Don't touch that. Um, just to be on the safe side. And again, this people's not sponsoring me. Um, they're not my supplier or so. I'm doing this out of my own. And yeah. And once that is all sorted out, your RAM is back in the container that it came in. Um, you place everything in place make sure that everything is back like it was and then there you go place your battery well so screw your screws back in um i have no idea what's the kind of forgot mm. and you don't have to have like some special type of screw all you need is a screwdriver which is like that and then you can screw it back in and make sure that you don't over tighten this because you just want it to be snug like so that it doesn't move or fall out um, because I know many people they over tighten screws and then it breaks and then the thing mess up. So this is the Lenovo G G range, um, and you clip your your um, battery in if you have a Bluetooth um, or wireless controller or mouse you can plug that back into your computer and that's how you install um, RAM saving you money saving you time or people are wasting your time to do certain things and that takes a few minutes of your time to have a fast PC um, if this video did help you guys um, like and subscribe and if you do have other computers or other laptops and it doesn't have this wide range and it just have like a short um like a small space for you to screw like this type of screws then that is where your ram is or it's where your hard drive is but make sure that you do it very carefully you don't want to do any damage to your um to your to your pc or so so um like if you like this video or smash that like button and yeah cheers guys um yeah don't let anyone bring it down always try and stay positive and yeah cheers guys